today we're going to be going over all the products that I found very helpful the second time around with my second baby as a semi-experienced mama. Starting with nursing. If you want to breastfeed out in public, you do you. I love the confidence. For me personally, I prefer a little bit more privacy. I had a cover the first time with my first daughter that just like wrapped around me. It was an infinity scarf. I personally kind of hated it. It was just like I was super immobile. It was really hard to get baby in and out. It wasn't breathable. It just kind of sucked to be completely honest. And then I discovered TCU. I really, really enjoy this brand. This is my new nursing cover and I absolutely love it for many reasons. One, it is very aesthetic and beautiful. They have great patterns. So obviously we love that. We hate baby things that just ugly up your life. If we can avoid it, I will avoid it. Next, the material. It is a very light muslin, breathable material. So it's great even for summertime, which I am now learning I am going to love. It's really easy to put on. You just saw I whipped it over my neck. We got an adjustable strap on the side here. We have a really nice band here so I can still see what I'm doing. I can still see baby under me. No one else can see though. I love it. It's super easy. You have full access on the sides to just take things out. Very movable. I absolutely love it. Would highly recommend. Also, the nice thing is well, I can just like quickly wrap it up and just huck it in the diaper bag, bring it with me wherever I go. On the trend of nursing, another thing I've used is Hakka. I saw everyone rave about it after I'd had my first daughter. It became very popular and I was very excited to try it this time and I will say did not disappoint. I got the classic Hakka and then I also got these Ladybug collector cups. So basically you can use these, either one, to collect any letdown from the opposite side while you're nursing. It has been so good. I have a freezer stash so big from all letdown. These do not leak. They suction right on. They're so easy to clean because they're one piece. I had collector cups last time that were multiple pieces, so hard to wash, and they leaked all the time. I hated them. And for someone who had letdown basically up until now, my daughter is three and a half months old, so I'm still kind of using these a little bit less now. They were so handy. Use them every single time I nurse. And if you know anything about nursing, you know that. That means every two to three hours. Kind of along the lines of nursing burp cloths. Um, some babies don't puke up. My two babies have been very pukey babies. A burp cloth is just an accessory to my outfit at all times now. Like I don't ever not have a burp cloth on me. It is always on my person. So I last time had just some not so cute patterns and I realized they were in a lot of photos. I didn't really like them. They were way too small. They didn't last long. She would puke on them like once and then they would be done. So I decided to get these gigantic ones now. This is folded in half. It's just just a really nice muslin material. This is from the brand Mushi. I love them. Mushy, Mushy. I don't know. Who knows? Probably them, actually. They have really nice, just like natural burp cloths. There's so much space. You just fold them a bunch. I would say it's the gift that keeps on giving. It does eventually get drenched in puke. We have washed them so much in the last three months and they've held up against the test of time. They have really non-conspicuous patterns, not in your face. They kind of blend in with everything. You will use them a ton. If you have a pukey baby, this is your number one product. Moving on to like clothing and sleep. Something that I feel like any first time mom has a hard time with is buying baby clothes. All the onesies and like jammies that have all the cute patterns on them and then you just like go crazy and buy all the cute patterns. I definitely did that. All fun and games until you realize that the snap onesies are terrible. We hated them. They were so not fun to do diaper changes, which you do a lot, by the way. So I will 1000% recommend to every first time parent that you only get zippered onesie footie pajamas. And bonus if they're the double zip, so if they zip from the top and the bottom, so you can unzip at the bottom when you want to do a diaper change at nighttime and keep baby in their jammies. Super a fan of the Kite Baby bamboo jammies or just bamboo jammies in general. They're so soft. It's soft for baby, but then it's like also soft for you when you like snuggle baby and it's just... Don't ever do snaps. You'll hate your life. Doesn't matter how cute the pattern it's not worth it. And I'm someone who is definitely keen on aesthetics and I'm even saying, don't do it. <laughs> the first time around, another thing that really got us was getting all these cutesy little patterned swaddles. I'm really good at wrapping presents. It seems irrelevant until you realize that wrapping a present is kind of like wrapping a baby in a swaddle, but like on advanced level. With my first daughter, Avery, I would wrap her so tight and so good. I was like, there's no way this kid's coming out of it. Like I am a professional. And she would be out of it within like two seconds. She was such 
such a little wiggler that she got out of it. She was a little Houdini. She's a skate artist. She got out of it every time. This time around, I saw lots of rave about the Ollie World Swaddle. Where's the, this guy right here? Instead of your traditional swaddle, which you just tie up and hope that it doesn't undo, this one is heavy duty Velcro. It's so good. Talia hasn't gotten out of it once. They really like to be all snuggly snuggly because you know, it's like, feels like the little squishy wombs. Machine washable, easy peasy. I feel like as a first time mom, you kind of forget you're not 100% all the time going to be carrying baby because that is like an unrealistic thing to be doing. You do need to, you know, have some space sometimes, do something that maybe you can't hold a baby while you do yeah you need places to put baby so the first time around all we really had was a bassinet baby didn't really like that I always thought it would be nice to put Avery down on the couch but you can't just put a baby down on the couch so this time the snuggle me lounger it's like a little baby pillow you put it down on the couch or on the bed you move it wherever baby's all snugged in there it's like a little hug once again we love hugs as a baby I would put her in this she's still right beside me she's still all snugged up it was really easy to move around I had a washable color. It came in lots of different colors. It is very pricey. Maybe put on your baby registry if you have some really, really generous friends and family. I personally enjoyed this so much. Talia has used it every single day since she's been born. Love. It's great. Because I feel like you kind of need to put baby down in different scenarios. The snuggle me is great for putting down on the bed or the couch or something like that. But sometimes I need to bring Talia into like the kitchen or something or into the bathroom while I shower. So I don't really want to put the snuggle me on the floor. I have done it a couple times but you know just kind of mix it up give her a couple different positions a very expensive purchase the levo baby rocker it is very simplistic with our first daughter we had one of those mechanical electric swings it was really nice because it swang avery and she swung swang swung it swung avery avery was in the swing let's do that but the motor was really loud woo 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 Ooh. And the thing was also so big to like fold it up and move it around the house is actually kind of annoying. While it was kind of a lifesaver, I wanted to try something different this time. Something that wasn't as obnoxious in my face or my ears and also easier to move around. So I came across this bad boy. I fell in love with her right away. She is very expensive. So once again, I scoured Marketplace. She finally came up because she is pretty popular. A nice neutral color. Everyone's like, oh my God, you have so much white hat. How do you keep that clean with a baby? First of all, their vomit is milk colored, which is white, so it's fine. We've had a couple blowouts in this, and I get it out. You just wash it right away. It's fine. Like, whatever. I'm great at laundry. The cushion here is removable. It's super light, so you can carry it around the house. As you can see, I'm like able to just lift it up and down. As she's gotten bigger now, when she kicks herself in the rocker, she like rocks herself. I'm sure there are cheaper alternatives out there if you cannot afford it, but I would definitely recommend marketplace because we love marketplace we love second hand it's just so cute and actually practical and usable and minimalist no batteries none of that nonsense speaking of other places to put the baby newborn life is just where do you put your baby other options include carriers i have dabbled in a few different carriers now with my first i had a baby wrap i liked it it was very cozy but it only works when they're really really small it's also very annoying to tie up like honestly just too lazy to tie it up. I was never like, yeah, I'm gonna put the baby in this. So then I very, very recently decided to try a ring sling. This company I have fallen in love with, Wild Bird. I have two carriers from them. The first one here is a ring sling. That's it. It's on. Done. It is this beautiful linen fabric. It has flowers on it. They have so many cute colors. You can customize the length of the wrap if you need to go like a little bit further around you. It also has really cute little hardware. You can pick the color of it. I chose gold. This linen material is really lightweight for summer if you don't want to wear like a full and bulky carrier when it's like really hot out. Baby gets super snug in there. My baby girl loves it. She gets so cozy in there and she just seems so snuggled up in a little ball and just seems like she's loving life and I'm loving life. I have full arm mobility and in the wild bird carrier, I find that it sits up high enough right now that I still have access to my high-waisted pants. So as gross as it may be, I am able to go to the bathroom while wearing my baby. So I don't need to disturb her and I can still pee in peace. Which as a mom, you should know that peeing in peace is honestly a luxury at this point. I will have a link, especially for this wild bird carrier below because I love her. My other wild bird carrier is 
I have a full-on structured carrier. This is my second carrier. I used to have the Tula Explore carrier. I enjoyed it. It was good. It was pretty ergonomic, but I did find it felt quite bulky on my body and it was a little bit hard to put on myself because the straps went over your shoulders and then there was a buckle behind them. Whereas this carrier, I'll just show you how easy it is to put on. You have the waist strap here. Oh, it tells you which side to go up first. So there's a strap that goes around your natural waist. For starters, I find that much more comfortable and supportive. I found with my other carriers, it sat more on your hips. So if something sits on your natural waist, it's not gonna be able to slide over something bigger. For starters, we have like a little buckle. There's a back support strap. It loops in around, goes back on your back. So you just have a bit more support. There's like different adjustments for like newborn and everything down here for their legs. We have crisscross straps. You just put it over your shoulder, click, Click. We're done. This is so much easier to get baby in and out all by myself. You're able to adjust the straps while you're wearing it. Whereas the other one, I felt I always had to have someone adjust the straps for me. Not handy dandy. So whenever me and my husband switch between this, we're able to easily adjust it to our own bodies. I just love how sleek and minimal this carrier is. I find it is way better fitted for my petite body. Super comfy supportive straps. We got like adjustable things for as a baby grows. Also, I love that it's like a really neutral color. It's a linen material, complements my outfits all the time because baby wearing is an accessory. I'm always wearing her. See, this just looks like it was meant to go together, you know? It is adjustable, you can wear them facing to the chest, facing outwards on the front, and then also the back carrier goes up to like 45 pounds or something, so like it would technically even still work for my three-year-old, which we have used actually. I had to pre-order it because it sold out so fast the first time. Everyone loves it. As soon as I put it on, I was in love with it. Mwah, chef's kiss. This one is kind of dependent on whether you are nursing exclusively, pumping, doing formula, whatever you want to do. But if you are doing any of the combinations where you do need a pump, would kind of recommend splurging on these. This is the Willow, I think it's just the Willow 3.0. This is it, that's the pump. There's no wires, there's no tubes, there's no bras that like you gotta get the sticky outy things you know, you just put them in your bra, you're done. It's sealable. You can like be upside down for all I care. You know those tampon commercials where those girls are like horseback riding and like doing like scuba diving and like flips off a diving board? Yeah, you could like do this with this like pump. Well, maybe like not the like submergent water thing because it's electric, but like, you know, you could like jump around, do some cartwheels. If you got the seal right, you're good to go, which is great for having a toddler. It has an app it connects to, which is like super bougie. Last time I had a pump that hooked into the wall. I was basically plugged into the wall. I felt so just like immobile. It is very expensive. I would highly recommend if you're in the United States, seeing if your insurance covers it. My insurance covered a good chunk of mine. My first baby never took a binky. I don't think I tried hard enough. I know binkies are kind of controversial. You know what? I'm for the binky. It gives you some peace and quiet. I say go for it. My problem with my first daughter is I had really big, heavy silicone binkies. I think they were too heavy for her as a newborn and she never took them. So she was never a binky kid. And I think that was part of the problem. So this time I got different binkies. The Frig whatever binkies, lightweight, and it's not too heavy for uh, Talia's mouth to hold. Yeah, binkies do it up. And of course, this wouldn't be a newborn essential video if we didn't do something related to diapers because that is like a lot of your life as a newborn. I have the Kikuru peanut changing mat thingy. The first baby I had a change table with a pad, like a changing pad that had a cover, like a fabric cover on top. Terrible. I hated it because anytime there was an accident on that cover, we had to wash it, which was a lot. And it got stained. Not fun. This one is like a nice kind of rubbery silicone. Who knows what it is? You just wipe it off when it gets spilled on and you can wash it with just like some soap and water every once in a while. So much nicer, very cushiony for baby and this time I decided to put it on top of my dresser then I didn't have a dresser plus a change table game changer so much more room in the nursery now I also love that this guy comes in neutral colors I've heard people say that they don't like it because it's cold for baby if she just has a shirt on and you just keep the onesie and don't take it all the way off she's not really touching the mat like I think it's perfectly fine those were the things that I could think of off the top of my head that were kind of aesthetic but useful and minimalist baby items that I am actually using as a second time mom if you want to 
to see what's in my diaper bag. Not to toot my own horn, but like absolutely will be tooting my own horn. It's a cute diaper bag. It's very clean and minimalist. If you like this video, I feel like you would like that too. So make sure to comment down below. You can see my nursery behind me. I also have a full nursery tour video, a before and after from disaster to this cutie of a room. <gasps> I forgot the last thing. It's behind me. That's why I forgot it. It's my glider. Um, they're expensive. You can find like more affordable ones. What I did to make mine more affordable was I found one on Facebook Marketplace. I was very so lucky to have my father-in-law re um cover it for me, but I'm sure you can also just find secondhand ones too that don't need to be recovered. I just had a regular old chair, more so for decoration in my first daughter's room. Big mistake. It was not comfy. I don't think I ever used it. You don't realize just like how soothing it is to just kind of rock yourself to sleep too. It's just like nice to have a place to hang out in your nursery if you've spent all this time making it like a really cute room. You don't really have anywhere to hang out in the room unless you have somewhere to sit down. It's also like a nice oasis if you're a second time mom and just like, oh, I'm gonna go feed the baby and then I'm in here all by myself. Well, besides the baby nursing. I think they're a really good investment piece. If you get a neutral enough color, you can use it for all the babies. Now this will be passed down into next baby's room. Definitely recommend. Super cozy. Yeah. <laughs> Please give my video a big thumbs up. It'll really help support my channel and also subscribe if you're down to hang out with me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. That was really weird. But how do you not be weird now? I don't know. Okay, bye. Uh <laughs>